Hi and welcome back to my channel Discover PhD Research Gradually and I am Bhumika Batra discussing the steps and the alternates to be an expertise in a field. In the previous video, I have discussed how to write the statement of the problem or the research questions which were the outcome of the research gap and the objectives of the prior literatures. This lecture is completely theoretical framework which will going to be discussed regarding the variables and its types and the hypothesis its types and its construction. So put your earplugs on and stay tuned. Variables. There are two kind of variables, independent and dependent. Independent are the variables which can be manipulated and dependent variables are the one which are based on the independent variables and which cannot be manipulated. Hypothesis is a tentative statement about the research questions. The tentative here means a rough idea. In a layman language, I would say hypothesis is the assumption between the variables. Now, assumption should be logical. Or I can say hypothesis is just a prediction which a researcher make before starting the research work. The hypothesis needs to be proved and tested while interpreting the results. There are certain things which needs to be keep in mind while constructing a hypothesis. The first is, it should not be in a question form. Second, it should be testable, hence proof. These both statements, however, says the statement should be declarative. Hypothesis should always be specific and precise. Specific, I mean, it should relate to a theory or a literature and in a precise way, in a very short way. It should be specific in terms of variables and also it should create the association between the variables. That is, the relationship between the variables. There are two kinds of hypothesis, null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis is always denoted by HO and alternate hypothesis is denoted by H1. Null hypothesis is an idea where there is no relationship between the variables. Whereas alternate hypothesis is an idea or prediction or assumption about there is a relationship between the variables. All the tests are always applied on the null hypothesis and not on the alternate. While testing, if null hypothesis is rejected, automatically the alternate hypothesis will be accepted. As I said, null hypothesis shows no relationship whereas alternate shows there is a relationship between the variables. For example, there is no association between the age and the job preference. There is no association between the age and the income. So which is the null hypothesis. Whereas in other way, if I say there is a relationship between a job and an age. So this is the alternate hypothesis. This is all about the hypothesis and the variables. If you have any query regarding the variables, which information to be considered as dependent or independent, or about the hypothesis, its construction, do comment. I will be happy to update you. If you find the information helpful, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, share the knowledge and stay tuned for more updates. I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye.